live.
Good morning. It's 8.30 time for It's a Beautiful Day in Fairfield, the bi-weekly podcast where we have a lot of fun each week. I'm Mark Turner. That's Claire Vaughn. Sam Sandy, Ethan Davis from the Frontier Community College Volleyball. Uh, it's hard to say volleyball. Volleyball. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I have volleyball on my mind because Jenna was up in the scoreboard. Jenna Rink- mm-hmm. uh, Reinberth was in the uh, was keeping score yesterday for the softball game. But uh, from the Frontier baseball team, how's it going, guys? Doing good. 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 There we go. I could not hear anything. My Uh-oh. headphones were not. I don't know why. That's weird. Yeah. Four is oh. not working, apparently. So. Okay. And now I'm, I've got some uh, feedback here. Let me see. Yeah, we do have a little... Oh, it's maybe this is crossed. No. Nope. Technical difficulties, y'all. We're getting there. It's in the name of the game. Bear with <laughs> us. <laughs> or at least with us it is. It is. It really is. Oh, oh man. No. Let's see here. Still? Hmm. Your phone touching that wire? Nope. nope. Not that. I don't know. We're going to reset the sound. One second. Hmm. It seems to be gone now. Still hearing a little. Yeah, it's coming back in now. Yeah, just the louder I have it. Interesting. I don't know. Good start to the podcast, right? Easy, easy, quick suggestion. Turn down your headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so, great. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We can't hear any buzz at all. I know, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, so, uh, Sam, you're a uh, sophomore on the yes, team, sir. right? Redshirt sophomore, right? No, uh, transfer sophomore. Yes, sir. Where did you, uh, where did you come from? I was at uh, Bevel State in Alabama as a junior college. Okay, and you are from Alabama, right? Yes, sir. From where? Uh, Athens, Alabama. Okay. Tell us where in Alabama is that from? Uh, that's in uh, North Alabama. The biggest city to us, or closest to us, would be Huntsville. Okay. Um, how I clo- went to Athens how, High School. Okay. How close are you to Ardmore? Oh, um, like maybe 10, 20 minutes. Okay. So got right some, up the road. Ardmore's got, right on the Tennessee line. Yeah, I got some, I got some, uh, some relatives who live in Ardmore. Yeah, and we uh, live right there. They, uh, they always like to tell me, you know, we could, we could be on one side of the street in Tennessee and then on the side of the street in Alabama. Yeah. I said, so who are you cheering for, uh, the Tide or the Volunteers? Oh, no, I don't <laughs> cheer for the Tide or the Volunteers. It's the Auburn Tigers. Okay. <laughs> Not a big fan of All the right. Tide or the Volunteers. So. All right. So what are you studying here? Uh, I think I'm getting a, my I'm going in like arts and science right now. I want to be a uh, physical therapist. And you are going to Evansville. You will be next year, yes, right? Okay. Much better. Yep. It was okay. the new mic that was causing the issues. Ah. So now I'm really going to look like a sports broadcaster during this interview. But <laughs> hey, whatever. If uh, the shoe fits, yeah. you so know. How, how are you liking? And I know I've talked to you on one of the uh, Bobcat baseball broadcasts before, but how are you liking Fairfield? You, you know. I like Fairfield. I like um, I like the uh, team and the coaches and everything like that. But I also, I mean, I like the town as well. So I mean, it's a it's a nice place to live. I have nothing to complain about here. So. <laughs> You're yeah. from a small town, right? So uh, it's about a medium sized town. Medium sized. So, so this is a little bit of a culture shock, but not too well, bad. Last year, I also lived in a town <clears throat> similar to oh, this okay. size. Oh, okay. Probably, maybe, honestly, a little smaller than this. So really, really, wow. Didn't know they had schools in smaller towns than this. <laughs> So, uh, were you committed to U of E before you came to Fairfield, or? Uh, I was not. Actually, I was uh, mostly a hitter last year at my other junior college. Okay. I, I two-wayed, but if I came in and pitched, it was straight off of first base, pretty much no warm-up, and I would just throw. I think I only threw, like, six innings. Okay. So, I didn't even play this fall. I just kind of, like, came back from uh, break and uh, had kind of a velo jump, and then it kind of just – Velo just kind of stayed up, and U of E liked what they saw, so they decided to give me an offer, and I committed. So it was it's a great place to be, and I'm excited to go next year. All right, Ethan, you're a uh, freshman, right? 
Transfer so, sophomore. Transfer sophomore. Where'd yep. you transfer from? Uh, Marion University. Uh, in Come up closer to that mic, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> Marion University in Indianapolis. Okay. And where are you from originally? Uh, Southern Indiana, um, Brownstown, Indiana. Um, it's about an hour hour south of Indianapolis and about an hour north of Louisville, so right in the middle. Okay. So you're you're close to the Nashville, Indiana area, right? Yeah. Is that yeah, okay? I think it's a 30 minutes. 30 minutes, I think, Okay, from us. I don't even know where Nashville, Indiana is. It's uh, about halfway between Indianapolis and, uh, <laughs> and Louisville. And Louisville. <laughs> yeah. It's close to Louisville. You know, it's close to Louisville. Okay. Louisville and Indianapolis, like, are not that far away from here. And it's just everyone seems to go to St. Louis from here. Like, we either go to St. Louis or we go to Evansville. Yeah. Um, but we've been going to Louisville a lot more lately, yeah. and it's such a cool town. Like, we, we love going there. We love Louisville. Of course, yeah. you know, growing up down around there. Right, so, yeah. right. I kind of know my way around. Do you? <laughs> so. I don't. I don't even know my way wor- around Evansville, and I've <laughs> went there my entire life. Heck, sometimes I get lost in Fairfield, so... Uh, well, that's that's not my strong suit directions. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. But so, what are you studying? Uh, the same thing. Uh, getting an associate. Just in general arts studies. And science. And yeah. yeah. What do you What do you hope to go uh, into? And business or sports management. Okay. Um, I started off last year. I majored in graphic design, so I got some of my courses out of the way for that. So okay. I'd look to you know minor in that next year as well. Where are you transferring to? Uh, I'm still uncommitted. I got a couple offers. Um, Haven't made any decisions yet, though. Okay. I know a girl that could use some help with graphic design if you ever need a little side hustle. (laughs) (laughs) Give me a holler. (laughs) I'm uh, my my right hand girl just turned in her resignation, so I'm like scrambling. How am I gonna survive without? But she did a lot of websites and Mm. you know social media work and stuff too. But but yeah, that's a I think it's so hard at your guys' age to know what the heck you want to do yeah. with your life. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. I remember being there in, like, high school. Well, what do you want to do? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think I found out at 35 what now, I wanted to do. Now you know? they asked you in junior high. <laughs> yeah. You, know, what, you need to be preparing for what you want to do in life. Which I will, yeah. I will say, I feel like kids are better pre- prepared. You have more opportunities to, like, dabble in this or that or take, you know, they have, like, the CEO classes. Right. They have... Um, there's this career exploration class here at the high school. And I just think that's huge because you have different people come in and talk about what they do and, and get to ask questions or tour different things. Um, but I think that's big. We didn't have anything like that. And like being from a small town, it's like, okay, I can be a dental hygienist. I can be a hairstylist. You know what I mean? There's, Mm -hmm. there wasn't a lot of uh, jobs. All right. I mean, what we had, you know, in high school, we had all the trade classes, you know, wood shop and right. auto shop and J. Rob, and, yeah. you know, junior ROTC. So if you wanted to go to the military and follow, right. follow your parents, you could do that real easy. But nobody ever talked about what you were going to do. After, I mean, you just, you just talked about where you were going to go to college, but not, not what, what you, you were going to do, what you were going to study. I've told my story before, probably not to you guys, but I'm so lucky that I ended up going to getting a marketing degree because I had no, like I said, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was like, "Mm." my boyfriend, high school boyfriend at the time had went to SIU Carbondale. So I'm like, all right, I'll go to SIU Carbondale. And then they're known for their business school. So I'm going to get a business degree. I hate numbers. So I'm not doing accounting. I'm not doing finance, right? (laughs) Management, eh. (coughs) <coughs> I like people to like me. I'm not going to be a good manager. So I literally was like, just checked all the other ones off. I'm like, marketing it is. <laughs> and then, like I said, like my, I started this <coughs> business in 2019 from my house after <clears throat> my youngest son was born. And, um, yeah, I was 32 years old. And I was like, mm. I think I'm going to do marketing, you know, and here I am. So it's funny how sometimes you – things happen and you may not necessarily have a lot of thought process Mm -hmm. smart thought process (laughs) behind it but it worked out so i'm happy to be here so um all right bobcats we had a big win we talked about that before we got on air huge win for you guys yesterday yesterday. who pitched uh zach leduc started the game okay did he have a better game last i mean i think he gave us a really good chance to win the game good and our offense just just Killed absolutely it. Absolutely overpowered yesterday. Yay. I mean, we, Pierce mm-hmm. had two home runs and a double. 
Uh, Colt had a two home, home run. runs in one game. Yeah, we, holy smokes! We uh, we swung it really, really well against a wow. really, really, really good arm. So that's amazing. So the pitcher, let's talk about that. The pitcher from John A. You yeah, said he's they, a. Um, I think he's one of the top draft prospects for the upcoming draft. He's committed to Tennessee. Uh, I think he was probably. I mean, I know I'd heard he was like sitting ninety four. So he's been up to ninety nine, but I think wow. he's probably. I mean. They were coming back and saying that it was pretty quick, but I mean, it was. But they felt like they could handle it. So. Yeah. Lefty, righty, righty, righty. 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 Big okay. guy, really big guy. Really. He's a big kid. So. Do you know where he's from, or uh, what his I name was? Not. But um, he's. I mean, he was a really, really good arm. But we kind of just we got on him early and just stayed on him. And wow. Our our offense really shut out yesterday. Wow. We have a, a. We feel like we have a really good offense and as pitchers. It's just. Yeah. Good to know that. I mean, you can give up. A couple runs, but right. these guys behind you can swing it. That's and I a, think, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's uh, it's two games in a row against a top tier pitcher because the guy from uh, Kaskaskia is yeah. going to yeah. Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. We seem to do really, really well off of guys that throw hard. I mm-hmm. don't. Honestly, I couldn't tell you why because they're supposed <laughs> to be better. But I mean, we just we just seem to kind of show up and dominate and just come really ready to play. I'm no sports analyst by any means, but um, I think you guys just really work well under pressure. You know, I've seen you get behind in the games, Mm -hmm. and it's like you don't ever give up. And it's like almost like – that challenge of oh we've got a we've got a really good pitcher it almost like sparks yeah. something in you and isn't that what Coach McHugh always says like he's over there like mm-hmm. light a spark light a yeah. spark all we need is just one little spark and we're gonna get this game going and oh, yeah. I've seen it happen time and time again when we're when we're broadcasting the games it's you like kill oh. us you kill us right heart attack <laughs> I mean, we're gonna lose behind, yeah <laughs> or you get ahead real high they come back you it's always coming down to the the last the inning. Last, you know, the last inning, We've, it seems It's like, like you love the walk-offs. Everyone loves. Cats. Yes. Yeah, like, go I away. like yeah. it. Cardiac cats, yeah. It's like we're just, we got to keep you on the edge of your toes. And we appreciate it as yeah. Bobcat Nation. You're giving us more views. You're, you know, you're making people stay tuned in longer. Yeah. <laughs> <Put on the laughs> show. Yes, exactly. You're the next uh, Savannah Bananas, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's add some dancing to it next time <laughs> and we'll be, we'll be good to go. <laughs> Who's going to be on the stilts? <laughs> do they do that at Savannah Bananas? Yeah, they get on stilts? Yeah, one of the, there's one of them that does the Probably stilts. Probably Trenton Creek would be on the stilts. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd throw him I up on the that. stilts. That's so awesome. Literally, that. that's actually a great fundraiser idea. Yeah. If you guys can, like, you I know, not have any shame. I know, that'd be good. That'd be great. That'd be really right. good. Uh, Trenton Creek and Nick Kalen, two of the biggest guys on the team. <laughs> stilts, so <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Let's get some good insurance policies before we, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. we do this. Make sure the insurance is paid up make sure that contract <laughs> for college is signed you yeah. know <laughs> yeah. before we get on That's stilts makes, yeah make, get that letter intent signed uh, yes <laughs> oh my gosh okay so next game i don't even i guess uh, i have tomorrow. it on here tomorrow yeah. saturday yeah john a comes to town <laughs> mm-hmm. oh man and they're gonna be uh, looking for a vengeance aren't uh, they yeah are you they, pitching tomorrow uh i think i'm in relief tomorrow oh, okay but, uh, i'm pretty sure uh by Owen Byberg and Eric MT yeah, are going to yeah. start. Oh, okay. So they've given us really – Owen's last start was just – I mean, it was great. I mean, it was a yeah. nine-inning complete complete game. He pitched know, the whole thing. Yeah, against Kaskaskia. Yeah. I mean, Dang. It was just, he, he had given up some runs early and worked through it and then just absolutely dominated the rest of the game. Wow. Yesterday, actually, Ethan came in and three innings, no runs. And then we had uh, – Justin Trucks came in. He really – He's I mean, a really, really good pitcher, just didn't could find his own. And yeah. Max came in and just slammed the door shut. Good. So the side yeah. to close the game. <laughs> that's, a, that's the hard thing with pitchers is, you know, like we watched LaDuke at the Kaskaskia game. Wasn't it Kaskaskia yes. that we did? last week, yeah. And he's such a great pitcher, and he just was having a, an off day. You he know? was he, battling. He was battling really hard, and, and sometimes he goes out there and just makes it look so easy and sets mm-hmm. him down so fast. But – that's a lot of pressure as a as a pitcher. I feel for feel for you guys because as much as you rely on the offense, you rely on on your defense to to help you out. Um, I feel like a lot of it goes on the pitcher. If you know, d- depending on how the game went. So, yeah. um, so Bobcat Nation, we are over a thousand subscribers thanks to you guys. Did you get enough to eat last oh, week? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, dude. You should have seen the carry outs that I took home <laughs> like I almost just brought it over to you guys because yeah. but I'm like it's not chicken on the beach so they're not going to eat it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it was pans I had like five pans one was completely wow. full of hamburger meat 
one was completely full of the other chicken that you guys don't eat, and then a whole pan of rice, a whole pan of like um, lettuce, and then some taco shells. So Walter's Buildings guys have been eating on it <laughs> all week. My husband's like, "What am I supposed to do with this? I guess I'll take it to work." Um, but yeah, it was a fun. It was a fun night. I wish we would have been able to like have a big room all and all be together yeah. and and kind of socialize I'm, a little bit more. But I'm I enjoyed not sure it. There's a room big enough, that big in Fairfield <laughs> for real. Anywhere I know, because I thought about having it up here and just that way we could all just hang out for a while, but. I only have 60 tables and chairs, and that's barely enough for the baseball team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but it was fun. And uh, the volleyball girls came up with a new challenge to hit 2,000 subscribers, Oops. and they want to go to Chinese. Oh. So, okay. you right. guys step up your game. We'll get, we'll get a, we'd fill up the entire Chinese restaurant, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, so what's the what's the deadline for this one? I haven't set one yet. Okay. Let's just get her done, you know? Okay. End of the season, right? Yeah. It's not too far away. No. I mean, we're, what, what, two weeks away from postseason? I think so. All right. Because you guys aren't going to be here next year. We've got to get it in before. Yeah, we'll we've got to get it in before you guys leave. Let me let my bank account recover for a minute, though, <laughs> from, <laughs> from Tuesday night. I was like, well, we had a, you know, all, spring sports are hard. Like, yeah. we, we do Mule Nation and Bobcat Nation, and it's we have a calendar. We have a schedule. Everyone knows when they're working. And then it changes constantly, constantly, (laughs) you know, McHugh's like, oh, we moved it up an hour. Oh, we moved it back an hour. Actually, it's tomorrow now. And, you know, and the same things happen with high school. Yeah, I mean, we got a call. We got a call Tuesday afternoon. We've added a game for Wednesday. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I was was thinking, I said, you know, it's going to be beautiful on Tuesday and we might as well take advantage of that. And so, yeah, we had to scramble to find a couple of people, you know, and Mm -hmm. yeah. It's it always changing. Oh, it's it's a challenge, but it's fun. Oh, know, yeah. It's a fun challenge. Uh, Luke says, Creek on stilts is wild. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching, Luke. Uh, Dave Rigg is also joining us. Hi, Dave. <laughs> That's great. Uh, now we got to make it happen. I've been trying to get Luke to help me with some good quality content. I want some reels yep. of you guys, you know. Yeah, so yeah. let's get some... There's so many good TikToks out there right now with baseball players. I love the the um, batting drills, you know, and they like just act completely idiotic. And they're like, <laughs> he's like standing on a trash can, oh, and you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like, uh, anyways, I need some good content, y'all. Show them how funny you guys can be, okay? I want Fairfield to fall in love with y'all and, you know, get to know you. Let's find some stills. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's get Creek on hey, it. You know what? I bet Noah can build some. Yeah. He could build some. He built an ark. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> if Creek agrees to go on still, I will personally build the stairs. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here, people. <laughs> Creek, we need your we need your uh, confirmation. Not even a week. <laughs> no, no way. No way. Luckily, he could tell him to come back yeah, and watch yeah. it. Be like, we may have mentioned your name a few times. a thousand times, yeah. but yeah. Oh my gosh! Just this broadcast brought to you by Creek. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, okay, what what else we got to talk about? Well, you know, we can talk about what's uh, what's coming up uh, schedule wise for you guys. I mean, I know so you got John A. A over the weekend, and I but think uh, you guys are fighting for a home playoff spot. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are. Uh, I think honestly, I haven't looked at the standings, but I think the last time it was Wabash, John A, and then us. So I mean, I feel like if we can, hopefully, we can take two more from John A tomorrow. That's the goal. Always Ooh, win every sweep them. So. Yeah. You swept Kaskaskia, which yeah, was huge. That was, and, that was, and that was and a I, huge series. I will tell us. you this. I have a buddy of mine whose son plays on Kaskaskia, and he came up and talked to us mm-hmm. before the broadcast, and he says, you know, we didn't think Frontier would beat this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we're hearing a lot lately, honestly, and I feel like it's just kind of something we just – we love to show up and shock people. Yeah. And, and just show up and show everybody how good we are. You know, we have a lot of – I mean, you you know, a lot of really good uncommitted hitters mm-hmm. that, I mean, they they can swing it, all of them, man. We just, we feel like, I mean, we have guys that, you know, that are sitting on the bench waiting to come in. I mean, we give someone a chance to come in and pinch it, and we feel like that at any point in time they can make something happen. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, what was it, the Kaskaskia game? Uh, they walked, um, who did they walk? And to get Aiden right up, who's right mm-hmm. before Aiden? Keegan. Keegan, Keegan Martin. I think they were yeah. trying to set up the double play, and it was just kind of, you a- know, you're you're playing with fire. Walking Keegan, Keegan 
is, Keegan's is, a great hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's incredible on the bases. Right. So, you know, and, and Aiden is obviously yeah, great a hitter, great right hitter. Right so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Single guy. They didn't have a great oh. option there. You know, they really yeah. didn't. So, and Aiden came up and, won, you know, proved himself and – uh, yeah, I got the walk off. So I, I want to look back and see how many walk offs y'all have had in the past year <laughs> or two years. Well, I know this year it's been every game at least <laughs> at least four, <laughs> four, five, yeah. four yeah. five for sure. Four it's five. it's impressive. Yeah. I also wanted to start. This is something I wanted to start last year. It gets it gets so windy in that field for some mm-hmm. reason. I want to have a donation for every time someone loses their hat when they're out there yeah. running. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I just want one person to, uh, you know, pony up, pony up and <laughs> say, I will donate $5 or whatever for every time a player loses their hat on and, F&B field. And this year has been so windy. It's been so windy. I mean, we got Matthew McHugh chiming in, going to have to pull some of these Sandy quotes on our team to make graphics to promote our program to recruits. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh, Kayo K E I O says, "Great idea, Coach. <clears throat> Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah. Um, so you got some good, you got some good quotes. What are, What are your, some of your famous quotes? Are they? I guess he's talking about me talking about the team and okay. all the guys and yeah. using that to show recruits. So you know, yeah." For sure. Um, okay, so we have tomorrow, John A. We're going to get the sweep. And then I don't have any more Bobcats baseball till next Saturday. So you, are you guys out of town next week? Uh, Tuesday, I, we I, have a doubleheader at SIC. Yeah, SIC? Yeah. Okay, and then you come back for – oh, we have a doubleheader next week too, Southwestern. Swick, yes. Yeah, Swick, yeah. Awesome. Well, we'll be there with bells on doing mm-hmm. the live stream. So – if you guys haven't yet, like and subscribe. I always say like and subscribe, but subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the videos. <laughs> We're trying to get to 2,000 now. So. Yeah, 2,000. Chinese. Chinese. Oh, my gosh. Which Chinese restaurant do you guys go to? Which one do you go to? Do you go to Chinese? Panda. Panda? Yeah, Probably Panda. Panda if I, I, I haven't been to the other one. But you haven't? That's the Panda's one next the to been to. Walmart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. yeah. I always go to the old school one, which I can't even think of. New World. New World. Okay. Yeah. But I think I've been. Yeah, 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 he's a big they, fan of New World. Oh, really? Yeah. It's yeah. it's good. I just Love every time I go in there, there's like no one else in there, and I'm like, man, how nice would it be to fill that place up with some Bobcats yeah. athletes? Yeah. You know, that'd make their day. See, my thing is the bathroom is so far on New World when you go. Oh to New World. yeah, you you're such an old bathroom. man, Mark. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just I mean, gotta worry about where the bathroom is. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> shuffle off to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, Dave Rigg wants us to talk about who is on the team and where they're all from. So I know um, someone asked me yesterday, like international, how many international players there are. Uh, one from Colombia, right? What's his yeah. name? Uh, yeah, Joaquin. 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 Joaquin's from Colombia. Uh, Kaisel's from uh, Dominican, the Dominican. Dominican. Oh, okay. And then we have. Uh, Quite Finn a few Canadians. Yeah, <laughs> we have five or six. I five think. or six Canadians. Yeah, and then we have Finn O'Connell that is from Australia. Australia, Australia. and this is he's a he was a red shirt, right? This is his third, third year. Yes, ma'am. Yep, that's what I was thinking. So, and then, um, so I feel like Bobcats baseball. You know, obviously it's international recruiting, mm-hmm. um, but there is a lot regional as well. A lot from like Kentucky, yeah. Indiana. Yeah. yeah. Illinois, I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's some from yeah, Illinois. There's, there's a couple from Ohio. Ohio. Texas. You know. Yeah, Texas. Yeah. Texas. Arizona. Isn't there one from Arizona? Uh, New, Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico. Yes. Colts is from Colts New, New Mexico. Mexico. Okay. What's Colt's deal? Why do you change from 45? We loved Colt 45. He was 45 yeah. last year, and now he's nine? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He's, doing, he's been doing Colt, pretty good at nine. Colt, explain so. to us what happened to Colt 45, and that was his walkout song, <laughs> and, like, know. we loved it. That's my high school music right there. Colt 45 and two six eight, <laughs> baby, that's all we need. <laughs> Can't play that one on air. We just lost it's, all of our viewers. It's, no. it's <laughs> every show. I love to sing. To song. <laughs> I say it was like, um, it's a, you know, they always say God has a good sense of humor. So he gave me this love for singing, and then he did not give me the voice. You know, it's like, he's laughing. I just I want to sing every day. Everyone, everything people say, I have a song for it. She does, and I do. I mean, it's. We, we mentioned something in, during a broadcast. I'll sing it. And there's a song. 
<laughs> and if there isn't a song, she'll make one up. Like, every time we play El Dorado, I turn it into oh. the Desperado song. Mm-hmm. El Dorado. Yeah. So, uh-huh. I'll make I'll make it work. Um, another person in the live chat, Samantha Vaughn. How does someone from Australia find Fairfield? That's a good question. That I'm not. Question. So he was recruited even before Coach McHugh and the I current think, team. Um, I think two coaches ago yeah. recruited Finn mm-hmm. and um, brought him in, and, and you know, then of course all this COVID hit. And, right. You know, they got an extra year of yeah. I think, eligibility. I think, I think he, coaches may reach out to McHugh about um, like different different players like they have like from yeah. Australia or maybe or maybe that coach had a connection <laughs> with Australia uh, but I know um, with our Canadian guys now it's like almost like our Canadian guys that are from Canada will tell coach about different players that they have that oh they that's like cool that play here so I know we have a couple commits from Canada that are for um, next year yeah, I think good so. I mean that's such a good lesson to learn especially like at your guys's age everything is a networking opportunity and like to be truly a good person and to like make these contacts and not burn bridges even if you think you're never going to see this coach again Mm -hmm. you're never going to see that player again you're never going to see that friend's mom again you never know who later in life is gonna is gonna get you on that team or get you that job or Mm -hmm. help you out with a loan at the bank or whatever it is um being from a small town and graduating high school and and uh, thinking I was never going to be back here, <clears throat> I am, <laughs> you know. And uh, I, I work with people from my high school class every single day. So I always say I'm thankful that I was a nice person in high school <laughs> and, and beyond. They may disagree with that, but I think I was. So um, Ken Odie chimed in and said, don't quit your j- day job, Claire. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. So, so you're not going to be a you're, you're not hoping my to get backs up singer for Bo Tatum. Or well, he basically just crushed my dreams. Yeah. Okay. So let me process this for a minute. All right. My hopes and dreams are are done. <laughs> <laughs> Which day job do I not quit, Ken? Which one? I got too many. <laughs> I'll keep them all, I guess. Um, so and also with recruiting, I think it's a good point to make. This Nat is driving me crazy. Um, it's changed a lot over the years. Like it's not, you don't necessarily have to travel to Australia or travel to Canada. A lot of it's social media. Yeah. yeah. And I think the Bobcats do a great job of posting your guys's, you know, highlight reels and Mm -hmm. saying who's committed and who's not, and just trying to get it out there. I talked to a, to a guy yesterday. I was telling you the guy from Mattoon that does Mm -hmm. the Lakeland games, his program on his, he does everything off his phone, but his program, like whenever, one of the girls hit a double. Like three minutes later, his their parents get a text. Hey, you want to check out with a link to mm-hmm. the video of that double? That's it's, really cool. Probably like a really game changer type yeah, thing. I don't know what it was, but it was really cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it may be on Game Changer where you can like I think you can follow specific players mm-hmm. on Game okay. Changer, or you can like uh, mark them as your family. Mm-hmm. I know my parents have us marked as or me marked as like our family on Game Changer. Yeah, so that's such I a cool app. Well, that's awful nice of them for your parents to mark you as family. <laughs> <laughs> they're still <laughs> yeah. claim they're still claiming you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do they make it up for a lot of games? I was gonna oh, say. Oh yeah, my parents come to a lot of games. Uh, th- I think my dad. I don't think my dad's missed it. missed. A game I've thrown in. Oh. Maybe, wow. or at least at home. Uh, I know he may have missed a few, but he hasn't missed any of the games that I've been uh, fortunate enough to start. But, I mean, my family travels well. That's my grandmother great. got to come last week, so that Aww. was great to see her. Yeah. And, uh, I love that. My dad comes a lot. He brought the dog, and our dog <laughs> was getting foul balls and putting slobber all over him <laughs> and he went back to the dugout, <laughs> so that was real nice. Uh, hey, it helps you grip it better, right? Well, I guess so. You know. It's like tar. To, no, I, I got dog slobber. Isn't there a rule against that? <laughs> I think I think so. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. I'm so glad your family gets to come. Does yeah. yours get to come oh, a lot? In there. Yeah. Yeah. Many it's hard. Rate. the The game times are, you know, if it's through the week yeah. and it's like in the middle of the afternoon, mm-hmm. that's hard. Especially yeah. how long of a drive is it for? Uh, about three. Three. Yeah. yeah. So I mean. To take off on a Tuesday morning, basically, yeah. to get here in time for and the you're game. You're a little farther, probably, what, five? Yeah, five and I'm a half. five. So. Yeah. 
But so when did you when do you find out if you're starting a game and then you let your parents know and they're like, okay, my I've got to adjust my schedule for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'm going up north or wherever. You well, know, usually my uh, main role has been like in the bullpen relief, relief mm-hmm. but uh, I've got to start two midweek games and I started against Wabash in the midweek. And I think I had found out – we'd actually – I had found out two or three weeks before. Oh, wow. Just because the game was already scheduled and then it got canceled because of weather. Oh, okay. So they had kind of known a, a good bit before. And then uh, I think they both – I think my mom and my dad got to come up for that game. So Oh, good. They both, uh, they both were able to make it, and I pitched really well. And uh, it was good for them to be there for that. Yeah. And usually on the weekends I just kind of tell them, like, uh, I think I might throw in this game. It's not a guarantee, but yeah. it's just kind of like it's definitely hard being a reliever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if, I mean, if, if a pitcher goes in and pitches all nine innings and yeah. they don't need you, then they don't mm-hmm. need you. You know. Yeah, and that honestly, it's what as relievers we hope the the guy that starts right. goes as long as he oh, yeah. can and does right. Great. You know, we want to pitch, but that guy on the mound, he's he's there for a reason. So we want him to be able to yeah. give us a lot of uh, eat up a lot of innings. Yeah. So. Well, I think that's huge. I think you guys have a good team dynamic, and like you saying that, like that shows, mm-hmm. like you're just, it's not a self selfish thing at all. You're hoping mm-hmm. that they do their best, and together you're going to get the win, and uh, I think that's huge. Oh, we got Kelly Sandy chiming in. Right, right. <laughs> Thankful for Bobcat Nation broadcasting so our family can watch when we can't be there. Well, thank you, Kelly. And uh, she says, Mom and Dad will be there tomorrow. Oh, Look yeah, at that so. smile. He's happy, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> so are you are you guys only children or you have siblings? Uh, I have an older brother. Older brother? Baseball player, too? Uh, no, he no? didn't. Uh, I think he played a little bit but uh, when we were younger, but he kind of fizzled out. like outdoors, like fishing and hunting. Oh, okay. So I'm, he's trying to get me to get in all that stuff. So yeah. I yeah. got to go with him uh, duck hunting in December oh, cool. uh, over Christmas break and it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. I you, really enjoyed it. You know, you're in whitetail country here, right? You need yeah, to bring them up bird. and have them have them do some some whitetail hunting mm, with you here. Tags are expensive, though. Yeah, we're out of state, so it's like. Oh, that's and, true. And then I have to carry it all. No, I have to get it processed here and take it all the way back home. So. <coughs> well, we'll take donations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, hey, I got a freezer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> has some room in it. So. Uh, Donations. We'll take yeah. We'll take your meat, but we'll also take donations for um, getting these poor kids a um, tag, <laughs> an out of state tag, because they are expensive. Yeah, I don't think I can hit the broad side of a barn anyway, so I don't think it would really matter. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I got a younger brother. Younger brother. Uh, he's a freshman. Uh, he plays baseball as well. Boy moms. I got two boys too. Look at that. Cool. Freshman in college. Uh, high school. High school. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, boys are a different breed, man. Shout out to you mamas raising two boys. <laughs> Mine uh four and six and they like constantly battle. Like it's just a battle. And they're small now, so yeah. but I say by the time they're out of high school I'm not gonna have any furniture that's still intact. Like it's just it's all gonna be broken. <laughs> it's all gonna be broken. Oh my gosh, but oh well. Such is life. Yeah. Um, okay, well, 9.03, do you want to go ahead and do weather, sure, and then we can that. come back around and I can do that. chat some uh, more? Weekend looks good. I mean, uh, sunshine today, 62, 59 on Saturday, 58 on Sunday. Going to be a nice weekend. Sunshine Monday, clouds Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, we're looking mid-60s. It's a maybe lot cooler. Some rain, maybe some rain on Friday, and then it warms up on Saturday. We were just in, like, shorts and yesterday. Mm-hmm. Now we got hoodies on, long sleeves, mm-hmm. pants. And uh, did, did, you, did you see the post from the sheriff's department this morning? Uh, was S- it the one about the, the... The building that was yeah. on 45. Yes. From the storms last night. Down night. by Webb Printing <coughs> on South 45, like heading yeah. towards the interstate. I didn't realize the winds got that bad last night. They blew like a pole barn oh, wow. shed yeah. across the highway. I think Gordy Toombs had somebody's shed in his backyard. Oh, my uh, god! And it wasn't his. Well, my sump pump decided to stop working in the middle of the night in the storm, so I had a flooded basement this morning. If, also, if you guys do have a sump pump ever in your life, just know you have to have sump pump insurance, not just flood insurance. Mm. I've learned that in my adult S- life. Really? I did not know it's, that. If you have a sump pump and it floods, it's not covered in a flood under flood insurance. Oh. Sump pump okay. insurance. I'm like, so what does general, what does general insurance cover? <laughs> If you have to have all this specific stuff. Nothing. That's a, 
boring adult conversation. Sorry. Yeah. You, you'll get to those. Before. Yeah. One day. One day you'll get excited about things like insurance. So this week's broadcast, we had Bobcat Cats baseball against Southeastern on. That was actually. Yeah. That was on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Right. Had a loss against Southeastern. Mm-hmm. The Falcons, final score 8 6. Um, and after that game, record is 26 and 14, which is a great. That's pretty impressive. Great record. Um, and then we had FCHS softball versus Hamilton County at 4 30. Um, and the Lady Mules fell to Hamilton County Foxes. Um, final score 3 to 2. Reagan Wells pitched the full seven innings. Um, but yeah, they couldn't get any more. Oh, let's see. Someone hit a two-run home run. Ada Ashcraft hit a two-run home run to make it 3-2, but they couldn't get any more runs to fall. Uh, yesterday, or Wednesday, Mark picked up the uh, baseball game versus Nashville, FCHS baseball. Uh, Mules lost that one 12-10, but they're a very good Nashville team. Yeah, Nashville only had one loss on the year. Wow. Um, they were really good. Uh, hit the ball well. Had some. I was t- telling you yesterday about some of the names over at Nashville. Oh yeah. Oh man. What? How'd you spell that one? Z G O N I N A. How do you pronounce that? Z- Zagonia. I have no idea. No. Bagonia. <laughs> Shonina. Wow. That's I don't how, think that's those. How he told me how to pronounce it. It's like when, I think there was a skit about that somewhere where it's like, um, her name is spell A S. H L E Y, but we pronounce it Linda. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, like that has to be listen. Saturday Night Live you can skit. yeah, exactly. You can <coughs> you can spell it however you want anymore. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, and then yesterday we had Bobcat softball versus mm-hmm. Lakeland. Um, really, Mark- really good game in game one, three two. What Bobcats about game two? <laughs> <sighs> you know, it was. <laughs> Lakeland could do no wrong. Seventeen to zero. I mean, they, they lost. I mean, Bobcats lost seventeen I mean, to zero. It was, it was. If I said bloop hit to left once, it was a dozen times. Oh really? I mean, that's that's what they're <clears throat> just hitting it right over the shortstop. Every right time. Right over the shortstop, in between the shortstop and the left fielder. The seventeen entire game. to zero. That's that's a tough game. Yeah. For everyone. It's a tough loss. Yeah, lost. But, but they split you know, the series or split the you know, split the day. But they never really hit the ball outside of a couple of three hits. Mm-hmm. Never hit the ball hard. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was just little bloop putting it where you know where we weren't. Yeah. So. Well, um, upcoming broadcast we have um, Bobcat softball. It'll be on Mule Nation on Saturday um, against Wabash Valley, and that's at noon and two. As of right now, like we said, these times can change. Um, and then Bobcats baseball. Um, at 12 and 3, 30-ish. We'll see. Um, and that'll be on Bobcat Nation. And you'll play a 9 and a 7, right? 9 yes, innings sir. and then 7 yeah. in the night game. And then on Monday, we have FCHS Softball versus Gallatin County, mm-hmm. four thirty. Tuesday, we'll have FCHS Baseball and Softball at Flora at four thirty. Thursday, we got Bobcat Softball versus John A. at 2 and 4. And then... Um, FCHS baseball versus Flora at 4:30 next weekend, Saturday, April 27th. Bobcats baseball versus Southwestern, and Bobcats softball versus Shawnee. So, be sure to tune in to those on Mule Nation and Bobcat Nation on YouTube. And uh, if you can't make it out to the game, we still encourage everyone to go to the games if they can, because it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. I love watching both teams. I never. I've always watched baseball, but I never really watched softball until we started this last year. And, um, man, it's just a different sport. Mm -hmm. You know, it really is. It's a lot faster paced, I feel like. And those girls can really hit bombs. Like, I was like, holy crap, I never expected this many homers in a game. But um, the pitching's wild. It's all all wild. Fast pitch softball is. It's like Creek on stilts. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you need you need you guys need shirts yes but if you nothing know? else graphic designer yeah, yeah. let's get mm-hmm. a picture and like photoshop him on stilts and sell it yeah what you need is bobcats across <laughs> the front on the back a picture just no explanation yeah. Photoshopped in <laughs> with a creek on stilts question mark <laughs> just no explanation just just a picture 
Oh my gosh. Um, okay, upcoming local events. We got um, Bobcats Volleyball uh, designer Purse Binga is tonight. And if you haven't heard, Binga is the same as Bingo. Um, it's at the Elks Lodge tonight. Doors open at 6. Binga starts at 7. I think we have convinced <coughs> Libby and Nixie to sing Binga. Like B I N G A. Oh, okay. B I N G A. I'm trying to. Bingo was his name. Yeah. Yeah. See, you're just trying to get me to sing. Oh. Um, but yes, go out and support the Bobcats volleyball and team. And I think there are still are, there are still tickets left. Yes, they're so. going to have tickets available at the door. They've sold quite a few ahead of time, but uh, Nixie did say that um, at the Elks tonight, six o'clock. Be there. Be square. Tomorrow, FCHS boys basketball third annual three on three tournament. Uh huh. The brackets have been set. I actually almost reached out to you guys, the baseball players, to see if we wanted to get, like, a Bobcats team yeah. in that. Did you guys play basketball in high school? Uh, freshman year. Yeah, and freshman I, year. And then I didn't okay. after that. Freshman, S- sophomore year as well. Okay. So did you guys just then really just focus Both on baseball, baseball at that yeah. time? My my high school coach kind of, like, told me without telling me that, like, if you wanted to go play college, like, you, you need really to need stop to. playing basketball. I honestly wish I would have kept playing. Yeah. Because it was a lot of fun, but, I mean. I think it was probably the best thing for me. Well, and I hear a lot of times people say it's good, even if you know baseball is your passion, that's the one you're going to, you're the best at, that you're Mm going to try to follow, that it's good to play these other sports because when you're training your body all year long, you know, um, and it's just, it's teaching you teamwork and all that stuff too. But I know the increase, it increases your chances of being hurt as well, playing those types of sports. But for us, it was just kind of like basketball with, like the season would kind of come over and I kind of baseball, and honestly, I was just kind of like, uh, I'm not gonna let. I mean, baseball was my main sport. Right. I was, I was okay at basketball. I mean, right. I came off the bench in freshman year. Nice. So, I, mean, I was not very. Good. Not to brag or anything, but yeah. I was pretty good. <laughs> up in the corner. All, all times of the game, I was in the corner waiting for someone to just to give you the ball. And <laughs> as soon as I hit my hands. It was going over. <laughs> no Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> so my basketball experience in high school was a little different. Mine was uh, my freshman year. In between freshman and sophomore, my coach was like, so the freshmen that are coming in are probably going to get off the bench before you. I was like, all right, peace. I'm out. I'll just. just seen my freshman high school game away. We were playing. We played away at this big 7A school, and before the game, this kid goes up and just windmill dunks, and talk about an intimidation factor for a bunch of oh my kids gosh. in ninth grade basketball. Sorry, oh. and he just like windmilled, and we were just like, he was yeah. a freshman. He was a freshman. Yeah. We were like, yep, we're about to get forty bombed. Yeah, so yeah, they, this ain't going good for us. us. And then we saw a, we saw a kid play in that game, and then we saw him sitting on the bench of varsity and play, and then we were like. We never stood a chance. No, yeah. no, this ain't going well yeah. for us. <laughs> yeah. oh. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I, yeah, similar story from high school basketball. We played a team that had seven kids that had signed Division One scholarships. Oh God! <laughs> we go in. We got. We got. We got eighty bombed. We got beat by eighty. <laughs> we were. We were getting beat. I mean, they. They told the manager to go dress at halftime. They pulled some kids from the <laughs> from the from the fan area. Told them go get dressed. We'll let you play in the second half. <laughs> I mean, oh my god! I mean, we were just. I mean, they had a kid going to Vanderbilt. They had two kids going to Louisville to play. This oh, is wow. when Denny Crum was the coach at Louisville, and they were in the top five every year. Wow! And they had another kids. I mean, they were like they were like seven one, six ten, six nine, six eight, six five, and their smallest guy was six three. It was like oh. Smallest guy. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. All right. Um, up next, sourdough bread workshop tomorrow. You, I think there's still spots available if um, anyone wants to come and get their s- sourdough starter and learn mm-hmm. how to make some sourdough bread. Y'all interested? I know you got a game, but I if I make, if I, I was gonna say right. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys cook a lot at home, or you eat out a lot? Oh, uh, we know. We know you hit La Fuente a lot. Oh yeah. Uh, but I mean, I cook a good bit, but I usually eat a lot out a lot too. So, do you guys you have your dorms have like full stove yeah, kitchen, full kitchen stuff? So, okay. is it just a dirty mess all the time? Not in my room. Good job, so. way to go, guys! 
I your would... room's really good, though. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's his story, and he's sticking to it. I went to um, junior college at Lincoln Trail, another IECC school, and hung out with the baseball players and stuff. And they have A-frame houses called the Frames. I don't know if they still do, but you just would walk in and the smell would just hit you. I mean, it was the <laughs> nastiest. <laughs> they were so gross. I'm like, can I please clean your, at least let me do your dishes, because this is disgusting. But I hope that they've all learned how to clean up after themselves a little better. That was only, what, 15 years ago? But anywho, um, FCHS is having their Fairfield FFA plant sale April 26th and 27th. Save the date on that. Um, go and get your plants. They have ferns. They have herbs. They got it all. And they just posted um, a price sheet. So if you're interested in getting your plants, I would get them from there. Um, Wayne County CEO trade shows coming up on April 28th from 4 to 6 at Willow Creek Venue. It's w- amazing. They're the different businesses. That yeah. Come up yeah. And we're excited. We're having them on the show. Um, Tuesday. Tuesday. So I'm excited to have them here and talk about their businesses. Um, and, oh, I just got this text into Skillet Fork Ruritan Breakfast is going to be at Shreve's Pumpkin Patch. The Whispering Woods um, on Saturday, April 27th from 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Menu is going to be sausage, scrambled eggs, hash browns, biscuits, gravy, pancakes, coffee, milk, and OJ. All the good stuff. Rest in peace, OJ, right? Mm -hmm. By donation only. All proceeds will uh, be used to help those in need. So thank you, Dana Bear, for sending me that. Guys, mark your calendars to go to that. Okay, the O.J. Simpson thing. I know you guys are a lot younger than me, but, you know, O.J. just died. Mm -hmm. And I was reading this post on Facebook, the comments on it, I was, like, cracking up. And they're (laughs) they're like, well, at least he can rest easy knowing that Nicole's killer is dead was one of them. Yeah. (laughs) And then one was like, I know he's looking up at all of us laughing. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> smiling or whatever. Oh. There were some really, really... Oh. I yeah. mean, if, if you enjoy it, that's my sense of humor. So <laughs> but I was cracking up. They're probably inappropriate. But the, the <coughs> people that did not comment on O.J. Simpson's death was amazing to me. What? Um, the Kardashians? Well, like the Buffalo Bills. Oh, they didn't make a... But what well, a, the San Francisco 49ers, the mm. two teams he played for. Didn't make any type of comment, you know, rest I mean, he's anything, a little nothing. jaded. Like, yeah, yeah. That's a big statement for them to make as a franchise and say, yeah. you know, rest in peace, buddy, where his name is very tainted at yeah. this point. You mm-hmm. know, they, they probably were going to get a lot of flack yeah. for that if they did make a public I think I think the only, the only really big organization that said something was maybe the Heisman Trophy people. Oh, they did? Yeah. I think ESPN made a post about it. Really? Okay. Yeah. So. Hmm. Interesting. Um, okay, question of the day was, who is your favorite baseball team? We really, or what is your favorite baseball team? We really got deep with this question, y'all. I know. It was, it was a deep one. <laughs> I had to really think about it. Mm-hmm. I personally said Bobcats baseball or the St. Louis Cardinals. But there's so many. I, my goal in life is to go to, like, all of the – you know, for, uh, yes, I want to go to all of them. When I'm at Wrigley, I'm a stinking Cubs fan. I don't care what these Cardinal fans say about me. You have to be because oh my gosh, it's a culture, and no matter you know, besides, no matter where you go, it's a culture, and you need to experience it as a as a true baseball fan. Besides that, if you're in the bleachers and you're not a Cubs fan, you're gonna hear it. There will be some repercussions. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I also don't want to get my butt kicked. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to wear the Cubbies right. jersey yeah. or blue yeah. or whatever. But, okay, what's your favorite team? I, I, I'd have to say the Cardinals. I think yeah. growing up around here, yeah. we just had to be Cardinals yeah. fans. Like, well, we didn't realize you could, like, root for teams in California. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when I was growing up, the um, Cardinals AAA affiliate was in Louisville. Okay. So. Well, that makes sense. We. When I was growing up, Mark McGuire was yeah. playing ball. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you were either a Cardinals or a Cubs fan. Yeah. You were either Sammy Sosa or you were Mark McGuire. Yeah. And then Albert Pujols, you know, or I mean. we Cardinal fans used to say, Mark McGuire and Sammy Soso. 
so so because <laughs> he was a so, <laughs> he was so so, so. <laughs> oh what what really what always it. what always struck me as funny with Sammy Sosa. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say so so <laughs> when when he was with when he was with the White Sox and the Angels. Uh-huh. I mean he was what was six foot tall six foot tall weighed one hundred sixty pounds. He surfaces with the Cubs. He's put on fifty pounds of muscle. Oh. Ten years into his baseball career. Really, <laughs> they, I didn't know that. There's something strange there. Mm. <laughs> Well, didn't he end up getting in trouble for yeah, roids? Did. Yep. Him and about everybody yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. And uh, cork, was he? A, were they cork bats too? Did they get in trouble for that? Or was, I'm not. Maybe uh, Sammy. Sammy Sosa. I think. Sosa, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like it broke or something. Yeah. It broke in the, yeah. Corp, so. yeah. I mean, Tennis already, balls fell out or something. Yeah. I, <laughs> it was someone during that time. I think it may have been him. Yeah, I feel like it. I saw somebody was, try that in slow pitch softball one time. Cork their bat? No, put tennis balls. They took the end of the bat off, put tennis balls in it, and then re-welded it. <laughs> what? Okay, listen, I'm not a competitive person at all. Like, I'm just not. Um, I typically root for the underdogs. Like, that's just who I am. But if you're that competitive that you have to, like, cheat to win, like, what are you proving to yourself? You're not the best. You're not – you didn't earn that home run. You didn't – you know what I mean? Yeah. Like – Come on. Uh, I, I actually earn I it. I didn't try to cheat, but I bought a new bat one year in Swope <laughs> Softball. And I sent it off to Washington State so I could have it cryo frozen. Is that true? Yes. I no I did it. What does that do? Apparently it realigns the molecules to give your bat more I feel like he's pulling all of this no, out of his butt no, right it's now. It's the truth. <laughs> what well, was I it mean, a metal bat or a Yeah, it was an aluminum bat. Wasn't like cryo freezing it like Make the metal break? No, they they freeze it and they let it fall slowly, and it, somehow it realigns the what they told me was it realigns. <laughs> Mark the got had. Uh, Mark got took. I um, got, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I did because it didn't help. <laughs> I still sucked. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I couldn't hit any more home runs. <laughs> you know, I didn't increase my home run. Table. Right. Right. Well, shoot. Actually, I think I got worse. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> the molecules got yeah. too realigned. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um so we apparently we have a lot of Cardinals fans in the in our fan base. Mark Wells says St. Louis Cardinals, Lizanne Woodrow, St. Louis Cardinals, um, Tina Lee coming in for the Cubbies, and Judy Molinek says St. Louis Cardinals. And then we got Dustin Fuller rooting for Cincinnati. Hmm. Yeah. What about you guys? Uh, I'm definitely a Braves fan. Braves. I mean, they're just the closest yeah. team to us. Mm-hmm. So uh, I've gotten to go to a, a lot of Braves games. My my aunt and uncle actually live in Atlanta, so we got to go and stay with them and go to some games at Turner and at Truist. So. Was it last podcast that I was on, two podcasts ago, I said that I would never go to Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> I would never yeah. travel to yeah, Atlanta. But you know why I say that? Because I'm sure it's a beautiful city and it's got a lot of great things. The traffic oh, is terrible. absolutely it's terrible. terrible. The traffic it's, is awful. It's kind of like, it, kind of like Nashville. What Nashville yeah. used to be. Yes. Every time you go through Atlanta, there's some type of major construction. Yes. And, and still, when you go to, to be the same way, when you go to Nashville and you're on 24 and you turn, you know, on to where you're going into the city or yeah, going over the state 40, or it's something still like it's that. like. Phew, yeah. All these lanes mm-hmm. of traffic converge into one, and it scares me to death every time. I get scared going from 64 to 57 heading south, so <laughs> I'm I'm a small-town girl, okay? Well, everybody but gets scared going from 64 to 57. It's intense. The, the roads on 57 are, well, they're worse than we have in Fairfield. Well, and what we got going on right now? Uh, I don't know. Fire truck. As long as it's not like a tornado siren or something. No, no, it wasn't a tornado okay. siren. <laughs> Fire truck. Um, but yeah, like 64 and 57 merged together there. And I don't know, for some reason, it's like everyone's just booking it going down 57. Oh, yeah. And then you're trying to merge on. You have one lane, not a lot of time, and there's a semi in the left lane every single time. Mm-hmm. It never fails. You're trying to merge on. There's a semi in the left lane. I drove that when I was in college, and I, you know, all the time. I was not as scared as I am now. Maybe now that I have kids in it's the car a, with me. It's, it's an age thing. It's an age thing? Yeah. I'm getting old. <laughs> getting old. I still feel young at heart. That's one thing you guys will learn, too. You can probably look at us like we're old now. Yeah. 
you probably think you're old now. Like you're like, I'm, I'm so grown up. I'm mature. Yeah. Listen, I feel like you, n- I never hit an age where I'm like, Oh, I'm an adult now. You know what I mean? I still haven't hit it. I'm 37. I still haven't been like, I'm super responsible and uh, adulty and make good choices. I don't think I ever grew up. No, I mean, I think we're still like, yeah, we age. We age, our bodies yeah. age, but I've never grown up. Just, just it. remember as you age, remember that parts of your body will uh, will fail if you try and do the things you did oh, when yeah. you were younger. <laughs> yeah, Mark, you still do a good job, though. We we uh, had a Mule Nation sand volleyball team. Oh, my God. I played, I played maybe one sand volleyball match, and he played the whole time. We probably played five of six games total. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was so sore two days later after one sand volleyball mm-hmm. game. I'm like, how are you walking? And I mean, you you may look good, may look uh, easy. I don't know. I don't. No, I didn't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was in. I was in. I was. I was mad because we kept losing. No, because I'm competitive and oh, I wasn't see. playing well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sand volleyball is hard. I love it because if you fall, it doesn't hurt as bad, mm-hmm. right? Trust me, the but way I fell, it hurt. It hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but your your feet are cement. Yeah. Like I can't. Oh, yeah. That ball's, you know, three. If my arms, my yeah. wingspan ain't getting there, oh, my feet ain't moving. I told you about the mud volleyball tournament I played in down at DuCoin one year. That right? sounds awful. Like, your feet mm-hmm. are not going to move at all. Well, some, some mud volleyball tournaments, you can. You're just in water, basically. But this one, they had mud that was up to my knees. Wow. And we had a couple of ladies on our team. To that sit were, down at that, that point. were like 5'2". <laughs> <two. laughs> oh and we had to, when we rotated, we had to physically pick them up <laughs> out of the mud and move them to the next spot. That's great. And, of course, we we draw the state police team in the first round. Oh, no. So, you know, you got girls who are 6'2", and guys who are 6'8", and it was just like, okay, well. Sounds like excuses to me, Mark. Yep. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make it. Let Sound it go. Good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. What we got for trivia? Base- so We have baseball trivia. Every podcast we do trivia at the end, and typically I just look like an idiot, so it's really fun. Uh, Elena, do you know Elena, um, my intern? She's, she's a Frontier Community College student from transferred in from Germany, so she's out there. But So she was on it last week, and she asked me German trivia. <laughs> I've never felt so dumb in my life. It's like, what's the capital of Germany? I couldn't even come up with that. What's the capital of Germany? Cologne. Cologne? I think it's Berlin. Uh-huh. Is it Berlin? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was Berlin. Yeah, I think it's okay. Berlin. Maybe uh, Berlin. I thought it was Cologne. Maybe Cologne was the capital of West Germany. Oh, yeah. So that was a question, too. What were they when they were yeah. apart? One more question about Germany, see if you guys know. What's the highway system called in Germany? The Autobahn. Autobahn. Oh, yeah. I, I know. Like, I remember learning it, but when she asked me this question, it's like, whew, my brain has nothing going on in there <laughs> besides panic. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, what we got? Baseball trivia. All right. All right, number one. Which baseball team is the movie Major League about? Atlanta Braves? No. Nope. No, uh, Major League. It's it's actually yeah. not a team anymore. They changed oh. their name a couple the years Guardians. ago. The Guardians. The Indians. The Indians yeah. Cleveland Indians. So they're the Guardians now. See, yeah. I didn't mm-hmm. even know that. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. Number two, which of these movies stars Kevin Costner? Mm. Okay. Bull Durham and Field of Dreams, or both? I don't know Bull Durham. I think it's well, both. both yeah. I know Field it of Dreams. Both, okay. It is both. Kevin Costner loves football Kevin movies, movies, or baseball movies. Let's get some Kenny Powers trivia. <laughs> <laughs> we should have had you guys bring All the right. trivia questions, really, yeah. Yeah, and make us feel really old. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the movie Eight Men Out was about which baseball team? I think you went for the wrong age demographic I, on I these questions. Yeah. 1919. White was Sox? Yep, yeah, it was the White Sox. The Black Sox, I guess. The Black Sox. Yeah. So were they originally the Black Sox, and nope. then they went to White? Or they were, were the s- White Sox, and they threw the World oh, Series. So they yes. all got banned mm. from the World Series. So what was the payout for that? Like, what were they throwing it for? How much money were they like, getting? 10,000 like bucks a piece, according to the movie. 10,000? Yeah. yeah was, I mean, I think that was a lot back then. Yeah. So. Right. That's true. All right. Brad Pitt stars as the general manager of the Oakland A's in this movie. Mm-hmm. Moneyball. Moneyball. Moneyball, It's like I can picture it. cannot think of the name. Good job. All right. In which movie is this line from? 
if you build it, he will come. Field of dreams. Yes. Just saw that on TV the other night. <laughs> All right. What song is traditionally sung after the top of the seventh inning? Mm. Take me out to the ball game. Yep. Mm-hmm. I was going to sing it, so good oh, job you got. Right I was going to say, let's go. <laughs> Coming in clutch over here. Uh-huh. Clutch cats or All whatever. Right. Who uh, <laughs> cardiac, cardiac, cardiac cats? Cardiac cats. Clutch, cardiac, <laughs> and we can do clutch too. All right. Who set the original record for most home runs in a season in Major League Baseball? Like the first one ever? The first one ever. Babe Ruth? Babe Ruth? That was good. Yep. He was at 60 for a lot, a lot of years. I imagine you got that. And then Roger Maris broke it. Roger Maris, okay. And then um, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. And then Barry Bonds. So how many of those are still standing, though? Bonds. Bonds, Bonds is? Yeah. Because didn't Bonds. he get in trouble, too? For Yeah, he yeah. did. They, I don't know if anybody will ever break it, his. It depends on who you talk to. Okay. Um, Who's the official record keeper? I mean, who? Yeah. MLB, who do they Who do they say? Well, they, they recognize Barry Bonds, but it depends on who yeah. you talk to because, right. you know, of all the other stuff that happened. Because he just played in, like, the steroid era, so yeah. everybody was doing steroids, so it's kind of like... I don't know. But you, you can't kind of, really. But you kind of look at it and go, you know, none of these PEDs were illegal in baseball at the time. Yeah. I mean, so. Oh, really? You know. I mean, it, it, I just kind of felt like he probably was like, well, everybody else is doing it. Like, I'll yeah, do it too. Well, yeah. Like, that's the only well, way to keep up. If they're all doing it and he still has the home, you know what I mean? He, they yeah. were still doing it yeah. and mm-hmm. they didn't beat him with home runs. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't okay. know. Interesting. Next question. This Canadian based baseball team moved to Washington DC a few what years ago. Was the Expos, right? Yeah, yeah the Expos. Expos. Okay. Good job, guys. Let's go. See? You? All right. No doubt. Blank. <laughs> no diggity. <All right>. <laughs> there are 3 cities with 2 major league teams. Okay. We name have to them. name name all name of them. them and give me the teams. Um uh, New York, the Mets and the Yankees. Yep. Chicago the White Sox and the uh, Cubs, mm-hmm. and then uh, the Los Angeles. Oh yeah, the Angels and the Dodgers. Yep. Good job. All right. Only Major League Baseball team that has not appeared in a World Series. Oh my gosh! How sad for them. Yeah. Uh. Oh, they won one. Uh, I don't know. I think out west. Gotta be days. No, no. They won one. Um, Angels. It is no. not. It is uh, the Seattle Mariners. Oh, oh. oh I forgot about them. <laughs> you say you forgot about yeah. them? <laughs> there, there <laughs> forgot lot, they had a there team. There are a lot of people that forget about the Seattle <clears throat> Mariners. Yeah. The Mariners uh, back in like the nineties. Who they had a really Ken good. Griffey. They had yeah. Uh, well, they had uh, Ken Griffey Jr. A Rod. And they yeah. had they Ken Griffey Sr. Father and son played in the same outfield in the same How game. How fun! Yeah. That was pretty cool. I feel like I've yeah, I feel like I've heard a story about that. Like, and you're right. They you know they had a Rod, uh, uh, the big unit. What what's Randy, Johnson. Randy Johnson? Yeah. Randy Johnson. Yeah. He was a wasn't he an Astros pitcher too? Or he was uh, no Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. And I think he pitched for the Expos for a little bit. Too, Expos. When hmm. they were in existence. All right. Um, who did the Cubs beat in the 2016 World Series? Mm. Indians. It is the Indians. Good job. Yeah. That was uh, the best game of baseball I've ever watched. Mm-hmm. So good. My All 30th right. birthday. Cubby's really? got to win, yeah. Okay. All right. Who won the last three AL MVP awards? Mm. Now he's a favorite to win the NL MVP. Otani? Yeah. Otani won, yeah. Shohei Otani just went across across town from the Angels to the Dodgers. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Signed a big contract. Like Ten years, seven hundred million. I mean, it's huge. Is that the biggest contract? I think it is. Yeah. Biggest contract ever. Seven hundred million. Like at that point, money isn't even real. Like, you have that much money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Seven hundred million. I think he just brings in so many uh, Japanese fans that it's like. It's 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 worth it's the worth money. it yeah, yeah. He's, I think well. he's just an absolute legend over there so. and he's oh yeah you know and he and he's 
you know, he's he's not bad. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. pretty good too. So. <laughs> Jada right. Thomas says Sam is on fire with these trivia questions. Yes, he is. Oh, All right, final question here. Oh, and you guys, being <laughs> both pitchers, should both know this one. What is the name of the award given to the best pitcher in the Major League Baseball? A little Cy Young Award. Good, good job. job. Woo, 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 woo. Um, question coming in from the live chat. Jada wants to know, do the boys have any summer plans? Got big plans this summer? I think we're both going to play summer ball. Um, okay. I know I'm going down. I haven't I haven't been assigned to a team yet, but I'm playing in the Appalachian League. Uh, okay. Starting in June. So that, I'll cover like the... Is that one of the uh, Wooden Met Leagues? Uh, I believe so. Okay. I know there's like... 10 or 11 teams ranging from North Carolina, Tennessee, West Virginia, and Virginia. So I think, well, me and Zach and Eric are all playing in it this cool. summer. That's awesome. What about uh, you? I'm playing, me and Owen Byberg are both playing in the Northwoods League. Where's that? Uh, my team's in Wisconsin. I really don't, I don't know where his team mm-hmm. is. but uh, It's up north. Yeah. I That's think Minnesota. He's, Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. He's, playing. he's playing in the first half of the league and I'm only going to play in the second half so oh, okay I'm just going to go home and train and yeah try and enjoy a little skills, time yeah, off too yeah and, uh, definitely the second half I'm gonna go play well good that's exciting no rest for the wicked right yeah, you guys yeah. guys and just then, keep uh, on hustling when do you start at U of E do they uh, start honestly early? I, I have no idea yeah. I think just kind of when school starts okay will be when we Probably start so August or something yeah it's normally when it is Exciting stuff. Yeah. Very yeah. exciting. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you guys for coming on. I hope you... Uh, Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Yeah. yeah we're thank you guys for putting on a great broadcast. I know everybody's family because not a lot of guys are from here, so we all enjoy being able to see ourselves play. Yeah. Like, and have video. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. do you go back and watch the video yeah. to pick up on anything? I, I go back and I watch I every, every single, time. Every yeah. single time. Oh, oh, that's too, awesome. So. That is. Thank you. Well, good. We're glad you... We're Glad you watch it and glad your families tune in too when they can't make it. And um, it's always fun hearing that you guys do go back and watch it. The, yeah. Some of the players have told us before, they're like, we just like to go and see what you say about us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so don't hold it against us if we do ever say anything. But no, we're both pretty we try to positive, positive people. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of good things to talk about. So, yeah. you know, but it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Never. Would I have ever thought that this is, you know, what we would have been doing when the Raylan James marketing started? But it's been such a fun little learning curve, and we love it. And I'm so lucky yeah. to have Mark with radio background and play-by-play experience because you do not want me trying to do play-by-play <laughs> up there. <laughs> Listen, like five minutes later, but, I'm like, oh. But you're learning. I'm learning. You're, I'm trying. You're learning all the analogies. My brain just doesn't work as fast as you're, like as guys do with sports. And you've played it, and it's ingrained in you, and you know, oh, uh, you know, three, four put out. And I'm yeah. like looking at my little sheet, like three, what position is three? <laughs> you know what but, I mean? But you're learning the analogies and the I cliches. Am. <laughs> I, love, I love Mark's cliches and like the things that he says, uh, you know, oh, can of corn. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. just a can of yeah. corn. What the heck? So then we, <laughs> we had to we had to Google it. I had to Google where the heck can of corn came from. Well, you know, I, the, I wasn't sure where it came yeah. from. Yeah, I just know growing up, playing, you know, everybody mm-hmm. said, you know, can of corn. I think it what wasn't it like the ladies had to like get the corn off of the top yeah, shelf and they catch it in yeah. their in their skirts. That's where like they use their skirt, just catching With a can of aprons, corn, aprons, you know? yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Anyways, I love I, I love some good sports analogies for sure. I, I know more football analogies yeah. than baseball, but yeah, we actually got in trouble one broadcast because you said, uh, well, some you said like up the gut or like straighten their gut or something oh, like yeah. that, and, and like the other team got offended about it. And he's no, like, somebody. Um, I, it's during a basketball game. Oh okay. And I said something about the bucket. You know. And that's not what they thought I said. Oh. <laughs> so, you can just imagine. No, my. But, yeah, that's oh. why That's why I have we, insurance. We had to go back and look at it and go, I didn't say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. But it's, I always try to say, like, you know, people get stressed out with cameras and stuff. And I'm like, I just talk to you like I would yeah. without, mm-hmm. like, just, you know, like I would my friends. And 
that's good for like the uh, uh, authenticity of it, and just a relaxed environment. But sometimes it can be bad because it's like, oh, I forgot I'm on the <laughs> I'm the yeah. on the air. Mm-hmm. What did I say? <laughs> but yeah, insurance once again, you know, yeah. just in case something comes up. But you have libel insurance, slander insurance, really? Yeah, I had to get wow. it for. I mean, because you just never know. Yeah, that's true. And like, there, I don't know if you guys saw the high school <coughs> issues, like with the basketball team, El Dorado. Was it El Dorado? Yeah. That they, uh, someone was live streaming their game, and a player blatantly or not blatantly, whoever you know, ask, you know, no. kind of elbowed, he's right? Sitting on the blocks doing their free throw, and he's kind of doing this. Mm-hmm. And then when the shot goes up, he leans into one of the other players mm-hmm. from Hamilton County mm-hmm. and just lays him. Lays him out. Him. And, and so... It hadn't been the first time. Yeah. And uh, it, uh, it was quite a quite a stir. Yeah, it was a bad... They their entire basketball staff mid-season. Yeah. And oh, wow. It was a bad ordeal. But, yeah. you know, just things happen. So, yeah, yeah I had to have... I had to get insurance just, just to be safe. Um, but, yeah... I guess that's we're actually over. It's nine forty one. So well, sorry now, to now keep you guys know, so now long. Now that I know you have insurance, I can really just say whatever <laughs> comes into my head now. So. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> Let's not test that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh. All right, that's all the time we have all for right. uh, for today. Uh, plus eleven minutes. So thank you guys again for for being here and uh, good luck this weekend. I'm going to be there or be watching. And uh, let's get that sweep on John A. Logan. What's their what's their volunteers? Volunteers. They are the volunteers. All right. And I actually have a story. Of where oh, that came all right. From. Let's just keep John on a, going. John A. Logan was a <laughs> pretty famous Civil War general. Yes. And he headed up a group of volunteers from Illinois. So oh. That's, I think that's where that came from. Okay. Interesting. And I know only know that because my sister worked at John A. for a while. Okay. Nice. Um, <laughs> now I'm talking, thinking about Bobcats and how the Bobcats got their name. Do you guys know that story? Could not tell you. Yeah. Because it was only like six years ago or something like that, but they sent out like a survey to everyone in town. Like, here's our three options. <laughs> you mark which one you like best and really? send it back. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like bobcats, polecats, and wildcats. The bobcats was the best option. Oh, That's yeah, all yeah. I remember. <laughs> That's definitely the one I checked. But, uh, but yeah, pretty fun. Before you athletics started out here, a, a former mayor, Mike Dreeth, had shirts made that said, like, undefeated since 1969 <laughs> or something like that, whatever year it was incorporated. I was like, that's solid. I love yeah. that. That's a, that's a great marketing marketing thing there but okay anyways we're done for today um come back on tuesday um at 8 30 we're gonna have the wayne county ceo group and don't forget to subscribe to our channel rj on the air we've got lots of exciting things happening right now we just added gospel time with dave rig um and it'll be on monday through friday 11 a.m it's just christian music basically for for an hour he does a great job Mm -hmm. and we just partnered with wayne county now um dustin fuller who is going to be bringing um, local news, Local news, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. through the week. So that'll be great to have on the channel as well. And then hopefully we'll have another After Dark session soon. Our first one with Bo Tatum went really good. Um, and we're going to try to do one of those a month. So be sure and like and subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the videos and uh, hit that bell icon so you never miss a stream. And, uh, yeah, tune into Bobcat Nation and watch these boys hustle follow their dreams best of luck to you guys Thanks. in the future and thank you so much for yep. being here Thanks, today Thanks for having us. Thanks all for right having us, yeah. have a great weekend and enjoy this beautiful day fairfield